I'm going to have to include clips from this clown's video because if I told you what the clown said, you wouldn't believe me. Well, I guess you would believe me. Um, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Now, I got some questions, alright? And I have the answer. It's A. Lung cancer. That's lung cancer. Look it up. So for all of you guys, I guess, evolutionists, that's appropriate. Um, all, all of those who, you know, believe in this evolution, um... In the same sense that people believe in gravity. I have a few questions. First, of my question is, how, um, because uh, you say animals, which, uh, animals evolved, invo uh, evolved to other animals, and then from there on, evolved to monkeys, or I guess apes, um, which therefore resulting in humans from evolving from monkeys to humans. Now, yes, old world monkeys eventually evolved into the apes, and of course humans are part of the ape family. There's a hell of a lot of steps involved between old world monkeys and humans. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I got a question. Um, why aren't animals still evolving? False creationist assertion. Why do you clowns insist on making assertions under the pretense, the fraudulent pretense, of asking a question? If this is how the process is, why aren't animals evolving? Like other animals evolving to other animals? Repeating your dishonest assertion under the pretense of asking a question doesn't help your case. For that matter, why aren't, mo you know, why aren't these animals evolving to monkeys? Why aren't monkeys evolving to humans? Or for that matter... Because that's not how evolution works. Why aren't humans not even evolving at all? Fraudulent assertion under the pretense of asking a question. Dismissed! No. You know, uh, why not? Why no extra limbs? You know? Because evolution doesn't work that way. Nobody says it does. By the way, that, you know, are actually used, not just, you know, rare deep, you know, rare birth defects from third world countries, because clearly that's not. That has nothing to do with evolution. Nobody says it does. Now, please tell me. I mean, please. I mean, I would like to know why is nobody evolving and why is there no evidence? Once again, fraudulent assertion under the pretense of asking questions. Why can't you fucktard wanker morons be honest? Why do you have to insist on making assertions and pretending you're asking questions? Do your gods approve of that behavior? Of evolution if it's supposed to be true. Now... True? No! Natural phenomena is true! Science explains everything, right? No, science will never explain everything. Well, you science explain this. I would like to know. The explanation is, you're an ignorant, fucked hard, moron, wanker who doesn't understand how evolution works. Therefore, you make assertions under the pretense of, quote, asking questions, unquote, because you are a dishonest, scumbag creationist. I assume you believe that your gods are going to forgive you for that behavior, but I, for one, do not. Uh, from what I've heard... Nobody gives a flying monkey turd what the fuck you've heard. Uh, read about, actually. They say that Charles Darwin was actually insane from the symptoms and... No, Charles Darwin was never insane. And nobody gives a shit what your church tells you about Charles Darwin. 
Evolution has absolutely nothing at all to do with Charles Darwin. Evolutionary theory has gone far, far beyond what Charles Darwin wrote about evolution. Trying to attack Charles Darwin because for some occult befuddled reason you hate evolution and evolutionary theory is just asinine. Uh, no honest, uh, rational human being would do that. I also got a question, um... Actually, you mean you have another assertion, not a question. Many people argue, even evolutionists, and evolutionists and scientists... You mean scientists, you don't mean evolutionist and scientists. There's no such thing as evolutionist, just for the same fact that there's no such thing as gravitationist or charge of the electronist or photosynthesis is. Scientists say that the universe, you know, the universe existed or occurred around 13.7 billion years. Others say 13.9 billion years. And I'm hearing evolutionists say that the earth, you know, the earth is 40 billion years. No. See what I mean? He didn't have a question, he had a fraudulent assertion that he is poising as a question because he's a fucktard, moron, ignoramus, retard, wanker, creationist. But that's redundant, isn't it? Come on, like, what is this? <laughs> what it is is called dishonesty on your part. Uh, I, I don't know, what is this? It's called creationism. Please, tell me. I just did. How do you guys come to this conclusion? I mean, is it from the carbon dating that you guys keep talking about? I mean... Logical fallacy begging the question. What is it? Because last time I checked, the way carbon dating is done is very done uh, inaccurately because they already presume that the earth, uh, the earth or the universe or whatever, is over millions of years, and so. <laughs> doing that, they put that on the scale, and then that's when they do their carbon dating of different artifacts, dinosaur bones. That's right, you scientists out there! Stop using carbon dating on your dinosaur bones! Uh, different things of that sort, and coal, whatever. Now, knowing this, also realize that there's so much carbon now, that carbon is not consistent, there's way more carbon now than there was about 10 years ago. Palm! Face! <sighs> Good fucking gods, that's funny! Please, please, evolutionist, scientist, whatever, explain to me. The explanation is you're an ignorant, fucktard, wanker, moron, retard. That is, a creationist. Little feedback. Um, that's that. And just answer my questions and. You mean, of course, refute your assertions. You didn't actually ask any question. So, the final score! Creationist is still zero, and scientist is still billions and billions and billions, to quote a famous scientist. Oh, I'm just fucking with ya. Forget about it. This is Desert Files from the... the... Where the fuck am I?